Today we're talking about ERC, the Employee Retention Credit, that's available at a federal level for businesses. Tell us a little bit about what this credit is. Sure, so it's a credit that um, employers can claim if they paid wages to any employees um, throughout the CARES Act. So anytime during COVID, pretty much anytime through quarter two of 2020 through quarter three of 2021. Okay. So how does a business know if they qualify for that or not? Sure. So there's quite a, there's a, a few ways that we can qualify. So um, the first is um, by a government shutdown order. So here's where we kind of need to do a little bit of research, make sure we do qualify that there's a specific government shutdown order that you can qualify and there's time frames. Um, the second one is the most common that we like to use the most because we have the most um, proof for, and that is a drop in gross receipts. So we always look back towards um, 2019 um, and we look by quarter. So um, 2020, we're comparing back to 2019, and in 2021, we're also comparing back to 2019. Um, 2020, we have to have a 50% drop in gross receipts. Um, in 2020, they loosened that and we only have to have a 20% drop in gross receipts. Okay. Um, third way would be um, a recovery startup business. So there is special rules for this one, but we can take a look into that. But that is if you started a business um, on or before February 15th of 2020. So what, <clears throat> what kind of dollars are we talking about for businesses if they qualify? Sure, yeah. Um, we're looking at pretty large credit amounts um, depending on what amount of wages you paid to employees. Um, the credit amount for 2020 is 50% of qualified wages and health, um, up to $10,000 per employee for the entire year. So we're maxed out at $5,000 per employee for 2020. Um, in 2021, again, they sweetened the deal for us. Um, we are now able to claim 70% of qualified wages and qualified health. Again, the $10,000 per employee, but now it's per quarter instead of for the entire year. So employers are now eligible for up to a $7,000 credit per employee per quarter that they're eligible for. So they really sweetened the deal for us there. So that's some pretty significant dollars. Like sure. it, it's, it would be worth business's time to check into this. Yes, right? I, absolutely. I would guess you're seeing big ranges, but probably some significant dollar amounts. Is that yeah. It? So here in um, Southern Minnesota, our CLA team, um, the credits that we've completed, we, we've claimed over $24 million of credits for clients. So yeah, we're seeing big dollar amounts. That's an impressive number. If a business did the PPP loans, the Paycheck mm -hmm. Protection Program during COVID, can they still claim this one in addition? Yes, they can. So that is where a number of people are like, oh, well, I already claim PPP. I can't get ERC. And that's not true. Um, you can get both, but just know that we have to interplay the two. We can't double dip with both of them. So we will have to take into account the wages that you use for PPP in our ERC calculation, which makes it a little more difficult, but no, you can claim both. Okay. And how do they claim the credit? Like what's the process to do that? Sure, so we will need your, obviously payroll reports and that kind of stuff, but in order to claim the credit, we will do an amended 941 for each eligible quarter, or if you are a 943 filer, we'll do an amended 943. Are there some specific types of businesses that would probably qualify right off the bat? Yeah, so right off the bat, so back to me mentioning kind of the government shutdown orders, um, restaurants were a huge one. Um, obviously, they were shut down at the very beginning of COVID and they were subject to limitations. Um, I mean, indoor dining limitations, all of that kind of stuff, that will pretty much automatically qualify you, um, again, there is some fine print in that that we'll have to make sure that gets covered, but restaurants and bars and that kind of stuff, for sure. Is, is there a time limit on this as far as they better act quickly with this? Yeah, so I mean, the sooner the better. I mean, who doesn't want the money? 
Um, but 941s and 943s are able to be amended within, I think, three years. So there is some time, but I mean, if we're looking back to 2020, I'm, we are already in 2022. So the sooner the better. So talk about, this seems like something that obviously you personally have worked a lot on and in, in your team here. Mm -hmm. Talk about your expertise in this area. Sure, so we started doing these credits for clients um, last year, so probably last May, June is when we started. Um, we've learned a lot, we've come a long way. Um, we've gone through a lot of difficult research and there's quite a few complexities in some situations. Um, but here in Southern Minnesota and at CLA, we have the resources for people um, and we're here to answer your questions and determine any sort of eligibility if you have a question. And even if you don't know, I mean, just ask the questions and we're here to help. Perfect. Tori, thanks for your time today and expertise on ERC. Absolutely. Thanks for having me.